Hey guys, it's Ted with OA X-Ray, and today we're going to talk about the globalization of Amazon, how Chinese sellers are changing up the game for every seller on Amazon, and how you can differentiate yourself. So just in the past few weeks, there's been a growing concern amongst Amazon sellers, and a lot of it just revolves around... Chinese sellers entering the US market and Amazon's actually happy this is happening what they're trying to do is cut out the middleman so right now the way private label or a lot of these things work is you contact a factory in China they make an item for a dollar then you need to mark that item up because of all of your shipping and all of the costs that you have with your business so maybe you mark that item up to $15 and then you sell it on Amazon. Amazon is saying, why do we need you as a middleman? Why don't we go straight to China and actually cut out the middleman, which is you and I selling on Amazon, uh, especially if you're doing private label sales. So the first thing Amazon is doing to make this happen is they're opening uh, in this article, it says uh, operations dragon boat operations, meaning they are actually going over to China. They're having ships bring things in container load for Chinese sellers over to their Amazon warehouses and actually um, getting things in inventory by using their own operation. This makes things a little bit cheaper. This makes things direct. And pretty much it's just a simple way to cut me and you out of the middle of a transaction. So now the factory can sell that item to an Amazon customer, make $2 on that same item. Let's say they're selling it for eight or nine after all the fees. And the factory makes more money and Amazon sells more because their prices are more competitive. Amazon's really trying to compete with places like wish.com and Alibaba where people are buying things even cheaper because they're buying them directly from um, China but Amazon knows that people want that quick 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 shipping so they're allowing them to put it into their FBA system and this Dragon Boat operation is just making it super simple for them to do so you're gonna notice more and more Chinese sellers on your listings and they actually do have some advantages number one if you're selling a private label product um, and you're not going to China it's impossible for you to actually inspect it before you get it I mean you can hire an inspection company you can order some to your door but by then weeks have gone by maybe even months whereas if you live in China or you own the factory you can build it you can get your prototype right away you can inspect it right away and you could send it to Amazon directly by boat with the labels already on it right away and you're not waiting all this time so there's a huge gap in time that someone who's living in China will have over a US seller because they're not waiting for all of these things to take place um, to actually get the items into Amazon FBA so but what can you do to kind of uh, curtail this number one you are better most likely you're gonna be better in line with the American consumer because you probably are one you're buying these things all the time so whenever you think about your bullet points in your listings think about what you or a consumer like yourself would be um, actually looking for so if you're selling a baby item if you're ungated and you um, have the proper insurance you're selling a baby item Talk to people you know in the United States who have babies and say, hey, what would your top five concerns be? Maybe BPA free is the um, kind of hot term right now. So uh, someone who is in China who uh, may not have access to the American consumer might not know that. So they're not going to put that in their bullet point, but you might be able to put it in yours. Um, what type of accessories would you like with this product so that you can differentiate your product from other people's products? So there's just a way that you can use your knowledge of the American consumer if you're living in the US to actually make yourself stand out over a lot of these other sellers who will be international who will be global for instance if I were to sell in Amazon Japan 
I would probably write any bullet points specific to myself or the people I know. I don't really know a lot of Japanese consumers. So if I were to sell on Amazon.jp, I wouldn't know what that Japanese consumer is looking for. So my bullet points wouldn't be as good as someone who is in the market, who knows what to say, who knows the proper grammar, because I'm more likely to use something like a Google Translate. So it might not come out the same way as if an actual Japanese person were to make the listing or someone who's living there who has some tie to the culture and then some tie to the actual consumer. So that is what I would be thinking about when I make every single listing is how can I get one leg up over the people who are selling from other countries. Make sure you talk to the average consumer. If it's a product for older people or older people who are generally going to buy, talk to someone who would actually buy the product. Say what's important to you. Put those things in the bullet points and then hopefully when people see the listing they're going to say, okay, this is the one that speaks to me directly. This is the one that says, okay, it's BPA free. Okay, it's, um, it meets this standard, whatever that standard is. And then they're going to buy your product over someone else's. And I do see that there are petitions going around. This is a change.org petition. It actually used to say that Chinese sellers need to use invoices and receipts. But now it says anybody who's starting out on Amazon will need invoices and receipts to sell branded items to uh, to customers. I actually thought it should be changed so it doesn't say um, Chinese sellers. The reason I thought it should be changed is because I don't think that Amazon really cares where things are coming from. I think that they're more concerned with is the customer getting what they expect. And if some U.S. sellers are selling counterfeit, some... Mexico sellers are selling counterfeit, some Canadian sellers are selling counterfeit, and some Chinese sellers are selling counterfeit. So I think the best way to actually get something changed is just to change it in general for all sellers. Because in my opinion, it's very easy to get a new address, whether it is um, start an LLC in a different country or just do what you need to do to get around it. So I don't think there should be any discrimination based on location. I think you should just anybody if you're starting up a new account and you have a Walmart receipt, okay, we know that item's real, you're going to be okay to sell the branded item because we have that receipt. But if you're just selling an item, you have no receipts, you have no invoice, then you're a new seller, then you're not going to be able to do it. So you can take a, a, a look at this change.org petition, see if you want to sign it. Uh, this is supposedly just a way to keep fake goods out of the Amazon platform. But for you guys, I think that everyone should be who is looking at private label. We should all be looking and we should all be figuring out not how we can uh, stop these sellers from selling because I know that some people will say they just want to stop the competition in, in general. I say, how do you actually compete with them? Because there's no way Amazon wants to go the more expensive route which is to have us as a middleman. So if you are a middleman, you have to justify your existence by doing something that's difficult or impossible for someone selling out of the country to do. So that's what I want everybody to think about in your business. Even if it's not just private label, even if you're doing wholesale, you have to say, why am I a good middleman? What, am I, what value am I adding? And then once you can answer that question, that is when you can be more secure in what it is that you're doing. Thank you guys very much. Have a great day and make some money using OA X-Ray. Please like and subscribe. And if you have a question about Amazon, put a comment down below and I'll make a video about it as soon as I can.